Hi, this is Maria from Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. How everybody doing? The time is here to plant my little babies, okay? My little babies are three months old. Three months old. And you can see this one, look at this, has, has all kind of little stems. Has one, two, three, four, five stems and it's big. It's okay. So I'm planting all between yesterday and today. I'm going to plant them all. Make sure they're up. No water. I'm going to let them dry for a few days. It's like this. Because I just plant and it's kind of cool, a little cool. Not too cool, but it's cool a little bit. So we're going to let them rest just like this under a screen. And I must have a couple thousand. All these are going to be different colors like orange, purple, yellows, maroons, double petals, all kind of exciting stuff. I'm so excited. I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Three months, okay? Two, in two days, they'll be three months. So I figure they were getting too big to be in the trays. So I'm planting them all, small and big ones, okay? And what I'm doing, um, let me show you what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm using this my soil here and I'm using these little four inches pots. I put my little pot over here like this, not push it too much, just put it like that. And then what I'm doing, I'm using a spoon, okay? A spoon like this. And then I get one of my little babies over here. My Look at the root system, is this cute? Oh my gosh, this cute, look at this. So what I'm doing, I'm pushing the roots in there. And then when the roots are there, I gently, gently, gently put it like that. And of course, they don't look too stable right now because uh, because uh, they are babies and and I don't want to press them too much and that's it. Uh, um, look at this, this only has one, it's okay. So I push all the way down, squeeze there. That's why I like to use my spoon because it's easy to uh, plant them and I don't have to like uh, damage them or anything. So there you go. Just like this, gentle, my spoon, open the hole. You can use a spoon. You can use a screwdriver, you can use anything, just put it there straight and close it, see? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them all to rest for a couple, two, three days without water. Because you can see the soil has mo a lot of moisture, you see this? So that is going to stabilize them, the moisture in the soil. And then maybe in a couple of days I keep an eye on them and I see if I, they need water or not. Uh, it's the same thing for you guys, I mean... Uh, who I am to tell you when to water. You gotta, you gotta figure it out. I mean, uh, you gotta see, okay, I'm here, it's too cold, or they need water, or they don't need water. Remember the moisture tester, okay? Oops, the moisture tester is very important to have because that's gonna help you decide when to water the babies, okay? Like this. I l just love it. Look at this little fat thing. It's so cute. I love it much as I love everybody. They're so big, they're such a babies. They're so cute. So anyway, I'm um, using the same thing, the same, the same soil mix. I'm using my 100% uh, my, uh, pine bark and I'm using my 20% uh, uh, gold. Um, well, I'm using the same thing, this stuff. And I'm using my um, gold Go, black gold, my black gold, okay? This is, uh, my plants love this stuff and it's very nice and uh, very, very, very nice. And uh, look at this stuff. Look at this. It's almost something like to eat. That's how good it is. And then the, the, the pine bark over here. And then the pine bark. And now I'm using something else different. Well, let me tell you something, okay? It's very, very hard. Uh, how can I say? Hmm, Maria, Maria. You gotta be careful what you say because everybody's gonna say, Maria, be nice. And Maria's trying to be nice. Anyway, how can I say? Lucas, help me. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Okay, what I'm saying. Sometimes people don't like to tell you 
what they know, like the knowledge they have. They don't like to tell you because they want to be the ones, the only known. And uh, that happens to me. I mean, multiple times I, uh, 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 I asked a lady something like three years ago, if she can help me out find some labels or something that I needed. She goes, no, no, no. She goes, I, you pay me, maybe. She goes, you don't pay me, I don't tell you. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe there's people like that. But anyway, it is. We just got to deal with it and we all different. We all different. That's all I can say. Anyway, so it's very, very hard to find information. Like when we come to find out what's the best thing for our desert roses, you got to like be on top like this and uh, be ahead to figure out what's the best for desert roses. So take me a long, long time time to figure out that we all use in the wrong soil and I had to admit it right now I have 4,000 3,000 desert roses that we are pulling out pulling out the pots drying them up and I expect the root system make sure it's good now nah? because a lot of people like the big big uh, carex or trunk whatever you want to call it they don't like little ones okay so they want something big and heavy and beautiful and i don't blame them everybody has i mean that's the style right now so take forever to find this pine bark pay forever to find out the people use cocoa pea and the pea mass is so so not good and now we all use an asthma coat we all use an asthma coat and uh, i've been asking people what's the green, green style you're using for the desert roses oh I don't know, my husband no, I don't know. I don't know, I gotta ask my husband and I never find out like all again. Hey, what's the green stuff you using? The green stuff is nice, look at this. What's that? Ooh, I don't know, I had to ask my cousin or something because I don't know what I use. Well, I know now what I use. Ah, now we can use it, ah, for our desert rosas. Ooh, I'm so excited. So anyway, when I find something, I don't keep secrets. Because it's not fair. We gotta share. We gotta share. If we love plants, you love plants, I love plants, we gotta share. And that's what I did. In my new mix for my babies, for my little babies, I use the green stuff. I'm gonna finish using my Asmo Co because I like to I like to save money and I like to uh, recycle and all that. I'm gonna be using the Asmo Co. My Asmo Co is real good with my plants, they grow good. But now when I find out there is something better. As soon as I run out my asthma, all the best asthma cut I have, I'm gonna start using this. This is stuff people use it for uh, people that has big growth with fruits, like fruit trees, any type of fruit tree, they using this. And they don't wanna tell you. I don't know why. I call them and ask them, uh, what's the stuff they using? Uh, where can I buy it? Uh, like this stuff over here. I went to... Uh, ah. I went to a place where they had like a farm full of, full of trees and they were using this. I was asking, what, 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 where can I get the stuff? Uh, you selling it here. They were selling it in the small little baggies. Oh, I don't know. You can go to Home Depot and Lost or something similar to that you can buy. I don't know. So anyway, take me forever. I find out all the, most of the growers, they grow fruits and grow a lot of healthy stuff like big nurses, they've been in business for 40, 30 years. This is what they're using. Some they use Asmoco and some they use this. And I think the people, the uh, growers that are using this are very, very successful because I see their, I, I, I see their plant. So as soon as you guys run out of the Asmoco, I'm not telling you to go buy this right now. If you don't have Asmoco, it's one thing. But if you have a bag Asmoco, please finish using that until you don't have anything and then you can move to this but who, who i am to tell you not to spend your money huh well anyway uh i know we all have our, our plants and everything this stuff over here i find it now i can get this stuff now i can get it wholesale now now my job is to figure out where you're gonna buy it where you're gonna find it okay you go you, you go online you see all punch bags that says uh, Hero Fertilizer, Grow Better World, but you can find it for $20, for 50 pounds. That's not it. That's not it. 
you have to find the right one. This one lasts a year. And this is the number, okay? This is the number, 15, 6, 11. Each number means something. 15, 6, 11, okay? It's not, uh, you can find something similar to this, and, uh, but it's not it. This is the one we need to use. So I'm gonna look into, and then next time I do a video, I'm gonna tell you where to get it, okay? This, uh, this is what we need to be using. Is that exciting or what? We find out all the secrets to have nice plants. Okay? I'm excited. You are, Lucas? I am. My guy get excited. I get excited because my babies will be happy. My babies will be strong. My babies will have all kind of uh, good nutrients. And my goodness. All the desert roses will be dancing. Dancing, 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 dancing. <laughs> anyway, um, that's about it. I just want to tell you the... Um, my desert roses are three months old and it's time to put them in the little pots and take care of them and getting healthy and uh, they're very happy you see they don't look i go i go there every day and i'm gonna check them check and make sure they're okay oh other thing i was gonna tell you remember i don't want to make this video too long because maybe you guys are busy and the holidays chopping 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 but please don't be stressed about chopping I used to be so bad about shopping. I used to go and just in the mall and just buy whatever I can find to give it for Christmas because I feel stressed and I feel like I had to give something to my daughter. I had to give something to my uh, sister-in-law. I had to give something. I don't have to give anything to anybody. If I don't, I don't feel like shopping, I'm not a shopping person. I don't like shopping that much. Uh, if I like them, I tell them I love you, I care for you and Maybe take them to dinner or give them a gift certificate. I don't have to go buy a bunch of stuff for them. They never, never, maybe never gonna wear. Uh, but this is other show, other uh, other show. Look at look at me funny. It's like what she's talking about this. Well, Santa brings gifts on Christmas. No, no, no gifts for you. This. <laughs> oh, oh, I was a bad boy. <laughs> I think you were a very, very bad boy, and I think you're not getting anything, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my husband said. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'm saying about shopping? Don't get stressed about shopping, please. Just don't buy more than what you can afford. So I can tell you, okay? Do not buy more than what you can afford. Means if you don't have the cash to buy it, don't buy it. Don't put it in credit card and then the credit card come and you go, <gasps> what am I gonna do? Oh my God. That used to happen to me a lot, so I'm not doing that anymore. Anyway, that's it. And um, I know uh, I'm getting too too deep into somebody's business. Plus, the best gift you could buy anybody is a desert rose from mariasgarden.us. <laughs> that was a total plug. <laughs> you are funny. You know that, Lucas? You are so funny. But anyway, uh, what I was saying is um, when you guys ordered this, uh, uh, what I was saying, okay, Get back in track, Maria. Get back in track. Okay, what I'm saying is, when you guys order this rosas, like right now, I have five orders, okay? Five orders of desert rosas in my cottage, in the cottage, dry them up, they wash, I dry them up, they put cinnamon, and they dry them. And also, I'm taking out all my desert rosas because they, all these thousands of desert rosas are in the wrong soil. In the wrong soil. I make a mistake. I'm not prefect, okay? Nobody's prefect, I think. Oh, maybe some people are prefect, I don't know. Nobody's prefect. Learn from your mistakes. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, trying to save money. I messed up. I put my desert roses in the wrong soil for trying to save money. No more saving money. I'm gonna take care of my desert roses and make sure they're in the right stuff. Anyway, besides the point where I'm going, look where I'm going with this. When I'm taking all my desert roses out, a lot of my desert rosas, they have, uh, they are not attracted. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. They're not, the root system, so it's not like this one, it's not too attractive to so some people will not want it because this, okay? Because the root is not like, um, like for example, the roots are not like, uh, eh, come here baby, come here you little baby. The roots are not like this, 
You see this one? Mm, my baby. Ooh, rock a rock baby. Um, anyway, like this one over here is beautiful. Somebody will say, wow. But this one doesn't have that much detail. So what I'm gonna do with this plants is nothing wrong with the plant. The plant is healthy and nice and beautiful. When you guys order a plant, I'm gonna start putting one or two in your box. Okay, I'm gonna mark the one you buy, the color and the one you purchase with a little string and tag. And then also, I'm gonna put one or two free of these babies. And please, please, please adapt them for me because uh, they're not sellable. They're not a uh, nice, beautiful looking. Uh, so it's a lot that I have, like this one over here, uh, I have hundreds. The, this one, nobody will want this because it's just like, I don't know, look like a person sitting with a lace cross over here. So I'm gonna clean it and I will send it in the boxes. If you don't want it, if you don't want it, give it to somebody to take care of it. Uh, but I don't wanna send to people that they don't want them. If then you want, you gotta take care of it. I mean, take care of like a regular desert rose, okay? And uh, I think that's what I was gonna tell you. So when you get your box, you get one or two of these extra, they're gonna say free, free, please adapt me. Also, the important thing, now, when I send you a desert rose, I'm sending you two pages, okay? Two pages of uh, handwriting letter to tell you step by step by step by step what to do and how to care for your desert roses in the summer or in the winter or between, okay? So, until next time from Maria's Garden, and thank you everybody for watching my channel. Bye-bye.